Hello, this is Bug News, and today we're going to talk about Marilyn Mosby. Marilyn Mosby is Maryland State's Attorney, excuse me, Baltimore, Maryland State's Attorney. Uh, she came on the national stage after the Freddie Gray riots and after prosecuting Baltimore City Police and after um, Uh, not prosecuting or say she wouldn't prosecute uh, certain drug drug arrests relating to marijuana um, so of course certain people were, <coughs> were mad well I'm not gonna say they were mad had their opinion on our hard our actions um, and some people feel that this is a witch hunt against Marilyn Mosby if you talk to certain people in Baltimore City some people say it's a witch hunt She's a woman, black woman, Democrat, and then there's some people who, who 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 may want to stop and frisk in Baltimore City. Okay, but so um, so she's been charged according to the uh, Baltimore Sun. Uh, she's facing charges, um, and we're just going to try to paraphrase this here. Okay, so the Baltimore Sun is saying that. Uh, he called it the COVID financial hardship withdrawal from her re retirement savings and making false statements during the purchase of two Florida homes. So we all know that, uh, or some of us may know that if you have a 401k, you can make hardship withdrawals. And actually, I don't know. Well, she probably made a COVID hardship withdrawal to, to, to they were allegedly alleging that she made it to avoid having to pay penalty when you have to do hardship retort as far as taxes um, so they point out her salary is almost 250k um, so now as far as the Florida purchase home um, she here's here's where it's kind of tricky because she didn't say that she owed taxes or um, any had any tax liens and what she may have had, I think, um, is that's what they say she lied on the paperwork. Um, and this is all alleged at this point. We don't know um, all the details, but they have the uh, um, write up as far as what the, the federal government has um, charged her with. So, um, so she, they say she falsely. Claim, claim this information uh, on the second home that was a rental property um, and this is this is why they filing charges now um, not too sure how she ended up in this situation but if we reverse think a little bit I know if from talking to various people that usually if you are purchasing a property you can go into your um, your retirement account and you can say this is per this is a down payment for a home and she did it they allegedly she did it twice but you can say this is a down payment for a home and you just put it to that and then they I think they still don't even take out any taxes so um, why why she ch allegedly chose the COVID financial hardship which may be of course which we know may be something true and then um, so in that case they and this, the way this is written, is like, well, she used that. But what they're trying to hit her with is, um, she allegedly lied on the form and said she didn't have any federal tax lien. And had she checked another box, she probably would have still got the property, but it would have been at a higher interest rate. Um. So that that is uh, one situation. So. Um, but her lawyer is saying that, um, you know, these charges, basically he's saying it's false and rooted in personal and political, personal, political, and racial anonymous. <clears throat> Ill will, I think that's what anonymous means, if I'm pronouncing that right. Hostility or ill feeling. All right. Motivation to do something. Okay. So anyway, um, not in my vocabulary, of course. Um, so the people just you know a little confused about the timing because they think she's going to run for public office.
Well, not to think she run. She's going to run for public office again. Um, I don't know if it's a term limit for Baltimore City or on the state's attorney's position. So the timing of everything, we don't know. You know, they could they could run do this, or I'm going to say they, the government running this, and then it could block her maybe when she has to fill out her paperwork or whatever. And then she's not eligible to run. Then somebody runs, and then a new agenda is put forward. Um, and then all these charges are dropped. So as you can see, how how things may work, may not work. Um, but this, I guess, the point of this, uh, yeah, and they have it listed here in the doc in this docket that Maryland's federal tax debt turn revenue serves. So, the, um, <laughs> this is just this is just if you know if if you're already having problems and you know you're a high profile individual. Do everything on the up and up, or you you supposedly run it past your ethics people, um, and then if you get approval there, you can say, "Hey, I ran it past those people, and that's why I did this. It was clear." So we we'll, we we'll hope people are hoping that this uh, will work out for her, and in the near future and. You know, time will tell, but as you know, um, due to her various stances, this could be a major change for Baltimore City. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Bug News.